all right youtube in this video right here i want to i'm trying to encourage people to stay natural all right um there's too many people who are going the non-natty route uh, you know natty or not you know natty meaning you don't take roids um non-natty mean you know not that mean you're uh taking them or sarms or any other compound that's not natural anything that you cannot just buy out of a vitamin shop or a gnc or a walmart supplement aisle um that's what that means all right it doesn't mean whether you're taking uh regular supplements or not it means whether you're taking harsh drugs illegal things um and yes some things can be prescribed by the doctor blood work and this and that and the third um but we ain't gonna get into all of that because that's that's different you know um like testosterone replacement and things like that it's still testosterone but it's just at a level that uh brings you back to the normal what what is meant to do is bring you back to the normal um testosterone level of a healthy man or a healthy woman you know what i'm saying healthy hormones you know what i'm saying um yeah so i'm natural for life never touch any of it trt hrt nothing you know what i'm saying um will i ever do it i don't i don't plan to um but i'll cross that bridge when i come to it i am 39 years old on the 4th of august right in this video right here that i'm showing y'all i am 100 and i'm less than 150 pounds right there so and i'm like 5 10 5 11 I could have swore back in the days I was six feet. I, I don't know if I shrunk or I just was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm like 5, 10, 11, give or take, somewhere in there. Um, and I weigh way less than 200 pounds, right? But as you see, pretty shredded, you know? Um, pretty muscular, pretty shredded. Came from hard work, dedication, all right? So I'm just gonna use some names right now. Uh, that's kind of in a spotlight. So for reference, um, also you might give me some views. You know, so it's not purely a clout chase, but it is, I guess. But it's just for reference. Um, guys like Larry Wills, he's admittedly on it. Um, you know, God bless him. He keep getting injured. Uh, he lives. He lives the opposite of the way I tell people to live. Um, I live for longevity, I live for health, I live for safetiness. A lot of people that live that way, or maybe don't even live, they say you should live that way though. They're, <laughs> yo, they get hurt, you know what I'm saying? You get hurt, if you're not lifting to stay injury free, well, you're most likely gonna get injured. People that beg to disagree, most of the time they don't even lift, they just say what somebody else should do, um, judging up what they did. All right, so let's talk about somebody else. We got Joey Stacks, big boy. We're not even talking about the beef, the almost fight, whether it's real or fake. I already covered that about six times, but I'm just naming people. Um, okay, Joey Stacks is about 200 pounds, right? And uh, this is just to compare. You know, he's not natural. He admits it. Um, shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? Cool guy. Seem like it. Um, but he's like 50 pounds bigger than me. But I'm leaner. No disrespect. I'm just I'm just giving a reference. You know, say I'm a lot leaner. Um, muscular wise, who has the most muscle? Uh, well, he's kind of shorter than me, so I don't know. He probably has more muscle than me. Um, maybe I don't know. I mean, my physique to me is better, um, especially as a natural. I don't know how old guy is, but uh. Let me see, big boy claims to be 270. I used to be 275, and he looks bigger than I was when I was 275. And of course, when I was bigger, when I was in my 270s, um, I wasn't all muscle either. So, you know, he isn't all muscle. I'm just saying he ain't shredded at 270. But I'm just saying he's 270. What are they doing? He's 270, he claims. But uh, Eric Kavinsky, um, and he had the right to say no about getting on the scale. He doesn't have to get on your scale, bro. So, no disrespect. I would have got on the scale, though. So, you know. But, uh, of course, like uh, Greg Doucette said, um, 
he probably just didn't get on the scale because he knew it was going to be a video made specifically about him. It's all clout chasing. People, you know, when I did my videos clout chasing, I admit when I'm, when I'm clout chasing, I admit when I'm clout chasing. I am one of the guys that will do that. I'm a, I will clout chase, but I will admit when I'm clout chasing. Most people won't do that. When when somebody, like, okay, I make fitness videos. Okay, when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, I don't make videos about celebrities and stuff like that. So when that happened, guess what I did? I made videos about celebrities, and everybody else did too. Guess what everybody was doing, whether they think so or not? They were clout chasing. That's what they were doing, all right? Um, the Mike Tyson thing, the, the R. Kelly thing, the whatever thing, clout chasing. The the uh, Joey Stacks and Big Boy thing, clout chasing. Uh, Larry Wills thing, when I made that video, I just made a video about that. I wasn't really clout chasing, you know what I'm saying? I was explaining something that I was talking about for years, all right? This guy, he lifts crazy. He lifts crazy to the edge he pushes it to the limit which a lot of people think that's how you should do it and that type of lifting in my opinion no disrespect to him not saying that's what he's trying to do but i think that's what he's doing in the in the, in the, in the indirectly trying whatever you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so he's people who see that and they emulate it they imitate it you know he might not be promoting drug use, but people see that, and they see that's how you do it, and they want it so bad. A lot of people don't even work on their own skills before they hop on this stuff. I knew a guy that I just met maybe three months ago. He had said he was already on the stuff, and he only had been in the gym for like a month. A month? You don't know how to lift that. You do not know how to lift weights after just lifting for a month. Most people don't even really know what they're doing until not even a year it, it takes a while to really get your motor patterns and really get your form down pat it takes a while especially your full body you know what i'm saying you gotta think you gotta you gotta you gotta master the bench the deadlift the squat or things variable things that's related to those things you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta master back movements how to how to uh, retract your uh, scapula, how to work your lats, how to work your traps, how to work your delts, your rear delts, your side delts, your front delts. You do not know this in a week. I don't care how many videos you watch. If you do not have the hands-on experience, you do not know these things. You know, too many people claim they do, but then when you see them in the gym, they don't. Please. For your own safety, if you're going to lift weights, learn how to lift weights before you go hard. So, what kind of physique can you build naturally? You see mine. That's that's not saying everybody's gonna build that same physique. All right. Everybody has different genetics, different heights, different um everything. I mean, lengths of your your ligaments. You might have longer arms. You might have shorter arms, longer legs, femurs. Um, you might be more torso dominant. You might be more limb dominant. You might be, you know, you might have great back, back genetics and, and bad leg genetics. I mean, it's different, all right? But that's, that's, that's something I don't talk about much is genetics. Even though genetics are like the number one thing, um, if you're natural. Um, if you're not natural, they say it's still genetics are still the number one thing. No, genetics are still high on the list, but if you're not natural, um, this, depending on what kind of responder you are, you got people that are hyper, super responders. Like, um, I did a video about uh, Nick Walker. Nick Walker versus Rapid Time Fitness. If you're watching this long, type that in. Um, Nick Walker, he's like um, a big bodybuilder. He's not natural, nothing like that. Um, but I'm just saying, like, um, before he got on that stuff, he was way, he was half my size. I don't know how much he weighed, but if you look at his physique, he had half the muscularity that I got. You know what I'm saying? And I'm natural. Well, he was natural at first, I guess. But I'm just saying, a lot of these guys, they're not what you think they are. You know what I'm saying? They're not. You might, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to fool a beginner. You know, and even us that's been in the game for a while, we get fooled. You know, we got people selling fake turkesterone. A lot of people who ain't beginners, including myself, <laughs> a 
bought into that. I ain't gonna lie, I did. I bought into that. I bought so I bought like almost two hundred dollars. I bought one hundred eighty dollars worth of stuff. Bought five bottles. <laughs> And then they talk about the stuff that's actually in it. The turkesterone ain't in it, but the stuff that's actually in it is supposed to work better than the turkesterone that's supposed to be in it. Like, come on, man. No, man. I'm good. You know, you want to look at what supplements I take? Always type in Rapid Time Fitness, anything else. Um, Rapid Time Fitness supplements, Rapid Time Fitness diet, Rapid Time Fitness meals, Rapid Time Fitness new year's and see what i did on new year's summer um see what i do bulk and cut and whatever um and ask me i mean a lot of my stuff i done changed uh ask me any questions hit me up below in the comments um i'm just my this video i'm kind of all over the place i think but back to what i was saying you can build a great physique most people can, can build a great physique without drugs and a great physique when i say that i do not mean a huge physique like i said i'm way under 200 pounds and i look better than guys that weigh 200 pounds you know what i'm saying i don't know how much cali muscle weighs but he's bigger than me put his physique next to mine he's older than me too so you can put his best physique next to mine and tell me which one you think looks better. I'm not talking about size. It's about looks. You know what I'm saying? And you can put that next to anybody. You can compare my physique to anybody. Yes, there's going to be people that's going to be beating me. But out of you name 10 people, I bet you I'm in that top five in your, in your opinion if you give your true, honest opinion. And that's not bragging or boasting. I'm trying to encourage people to stay natural. And the people that you're going to put me against, and I guarantee you they got a million natty or nots if you say they got a better physique against me. You know, they got a million reasons why people think they're not natural. You know what I'm saying? You can look through my timeline and tell me, yo, I'm natural. All right? So, you know, you look at some of these guys. It's not, I don't know who are in the, in the, in the industry, the movies or whatever. It's natural or not. I got my speculations. I've talked about it plenty of times. Type in Rapid Time Fitness, The Rock, or whatever. Um, type in Rapid Time Fitness, Natty or not. You will see who I think is natural, who is not. Um, but I'm just saying, like, this guys is not even that big. Bruce Lee wasn't huge. You know what I'm saying? I would rather have a Bruce Lee physique than a goddamn Big Ramy physique. Straight up, I would. I mean, some people, you wouldn't. Okay, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. But I'd rather, I'd rather be healthy, all right? Comment, like, subscribe, share. Click the link below to say 15% on Javi Coffee. Holla back at your boy. Stay natural. Stay safe. Um, Think about what you're doing. Lift for a reason. Lift to be safe. Lift to live another day, all right? Lift and let lift. Don't be interrupting people either. Uh, yeah, man, I ain't say that in this video. People talk too much in the gym. <laughs> people talk too much in the gym. Shut up. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, share. Holla back at your boy. Stay natural. Don't just don't just copy off what you see on TV. There was a saying back in the days. I don't hear it no more. If somebody jumped off a bridge, you gonna jump off a bridge too? There used to be things that people used to tell their kids. Wisdom. I'm trying to spread that same wisdom now to y'all. Come on, man. We, hey, man, don't just, no, nah, man. And, and if this video ain't for you, um, if it don't apply, if this ain't, this ain't advice that you need because you already know, share it with somebody who don't. I guarantee you got a family member or a loved one who need this advice. Don't just let them go down that rabbit hole. Hey, don't just, hey, you might not know because guess what? They're not going to tell you. They're not gonna tell you what they're doing behind closed doors. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta snoop in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a son. My son eight. He looks at me, and, and he wants to do what I do. He wants to get into fitness. He want to learn about calories. He want to do all. I'm like, son, I will teach you all that later. He's learning though. But I'm like, I'm trying to lead as an example. You know what I'm saying? It's it's very important. There's so many reasons for me to stay natural. 
Because he's going to look at me. You know what I'm saying? You're impressionable. And guess what? Yo, you, you'd be surprised who's watching you. You know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised who's watching you. Gotta, you got to lead by example, man. You got to be the light. So, with that being said, watch out for your loved ones. Um, they're not going to tell you. You know, that's why it's the term fake natty. A lot of these guys, they're, if they look like they own it, I look at them like they own it. You know, you could be wrong, but hey, hey, man, whatever, man, this video's over, um, yeah, man, just hard work, stop talking in the gym, yo, be about it, work, everybody go to the gym and they talk, they talk about what they seen, they talk about what they heard, you're not gonna build muscle without putting in the work, I cannot understand why people think that. Oh, I'm here in the gym. That's part of the battle. I'm going to build some muscle just being in here. You know what? Never mind.